Welcome back to Western Homesteading on the Stein Farms. After work today, we got us a project to put in an automatic flock feeder water feeder. It's an easy clean water bowl. It's designed for pets, dogs, but when you have a mixed flock, you have to be able to give your waterfowl something to dunk their heads in. And you have to be able to do it while you're away. So I got two rain barrels and I got two of these water bowls. I'm gonna install one today and we're gonna see how it works. So let's go do it. All right, here we are. Rain barrels, standard hose attachment. We're going to unpack this real quick and see what we got. I went with this water bowl because to clean it, it folds up out of the way. No edges you can't reach. I got a square one I'll show you inside. It doesn't work as good. Here's your float adjustment. Just pops back in when you're done cleaning it. I think it's going to work really good. Got our hose attachment, heavy duty steel braided hose, and it even comes with the wire br water brush. Let's get it done. When you're doing backyard homestead with animals and you want to leave your house for a while, you got to have dedicated high quality solutions. I heard somebody say once that if you have animals, you can expect them to die when you leave your house. And I think that's cop off. Because I'm gonna put in two independent water systems with plenty of feed options. It's your job as a good person practicing animal husbandry to make sure that doesn't happen when you're away. And that's why you get heavy duty pre-made solutions if you're not going to be here every day to watch your animals. So this is what I had last year. As you can see, it's still kind of down here from over winter, but the square corners of it make it really hard to keep clean. So we're going to go ahead and set up the new one. I had to lock Chicken Noodle the rooster out of the coop because he thought it would be funny to try to be frisky and attack me. There. It's not a big water bowl, but when you have two of them, it'll be plenty of water bowl. Especially for the ducks and things like that to be able to get their head in there no matter what, let's fill it up with water. So we can see it's slowly starting to fill up. We'll give it a little minute, see if it fills up. It doesn't have to fill real fast. It just has to have enough head pressure to keep it full. So there we have it. It's feeling pretty steady, about half full right now. I think I need to adjust the float a little bit so it'll stay up fuller, but it should work pretty good, I think. Gotta try it before you know if it works or doesn't. So it looks like it's pretty well fully filled now. And the birds are scared of me so they don't come over and look at it, but I'm pretty confident it's going to work exactly as planned. I got to replace this water barrel because it's cracked, but you'll have two independent water sources. So when it's hot in the summer or you're out in the town for a day or wherever you want to be, you can rest assured that your animals are going to have water. So like I said, there's 
no fun to have to haul water all summer long and then hope that you can make it. The second biggest complaint you always hear about people say is they don't have time on the homestead. Well, that's because you're hauling water and you haven't automated everything you can. Automatic bird feeders, automatic irrigation. You can't get rid of all of it, but there's plenty of things around the homestead by embracing a little automation that you can uh, reduce your workload significantly and increase the reliability of your systems. Your garden getting constant water is good. Your birds having a constant supply of fresh water. No matter what happens, even better. So, until next time.